Hey guys, this is TechWiz, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the closest thing you can to iOS 10 on your iPhone 4 or 4S. So to start off, you want to first add the Cydia repos that I have in the description. Uh, now these will give you all of the Cydia tweaks you need to create the closest thing you can to iOS 10. And here is the settings app, just to prove to you guys, this is an iPhone 4, iOS 7.1.2. So the first thing you're going to want to download is called Winterboard. I'm sure anyone who knows how to jailbreak their phone knows what Winterboard is. So you're going to want to download that. And then what you're going to want to do is just type in, uh, in search, iOS 10 UI sounds. And it'll download all the sounds, uh, such as keyboard clicks and the lock sounds of iOS 10. So now, when I lock my phone, it makes the iOS 10 now the iOS 10 noise. And uh, same thing with typing. So all the user interface noises are completely identical to iOS 10. Now again, uh, that is called iOS 10 user interface sounds, or really all you need to type in is iOS 10 UI sounds. Now the next tweet you guys are going to want to download is called Face Off 7. Uh, this basically gives your iPhone the feature that Apple did not even support on the 5S, only 6S actually. Um, only 6S and above for this feature. Of course, you know it is raised to wake. So now, with that tweak downloaded, you put your iPhone down and lift it up. Your screen automatically wakes up. You see. You can also have it. You can you enable it. You can also have it turn on when you lift it up and it's on its back, and um, all sorts of other settings like that. So yeah. Download Face Off 7 to give your iPhone 4 the Grease to Wake feature that Apple does not support. So as you guys know on iOS 10, Slide to Unlock is a removed feature. It just takes you to the widgets. So, press the home button to unlock, put in your passcode, and that's how you unlock on iOS 10. Now, of course, since the iPhone 4 is running iOS 7, uh, it cannot do that. But using an app that you sh that all jailbreakers uh, will be familiar with, called SB Settings, which of course is linked with the app Activator, you can achieve click to unlock instead of slide to unlock. So what you want to do, basically, uh, go into the Activator app. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Go to at lock screen, oops, at lock screen, and then single press, and I signed it to unlock device. Now you just need to scroll through here until you see unlock device. And now once you are at your lock screen, all you need to do is press the home button and there you go, your device is unlocked. Now of course you can still slide. So that is still an option. But so that is how you get click to unlock. And then what you want to do is you want to get this other city of tweak I have called lock screen. And basically what this allows you to do is make a custom writing uh, in the place of where slide to unlock would be. So you just hit write text and type press home to unlock so it says the exact same thing that iOS 10 does. So that makes the lock screen actually pretty close to iOS 10. Of course there's no widgets and no camera sliding this way but you do have press home to unlock and the ability to click to unlock. Now this next city of tweak is called Rounder. Now what Rounder does is it basically takes your control center and makes it a little bit more similar to how it is on iOS 10. So on iOS 10, you can see it does not actually take up the entire border of the screen. Where on I, when, as on iOS 7, it usually takes up the complete display on the bottom. Now what this does, as you can see, it does not, it no longer takes up the entire screen. Now there are a few more uh, tweaks that you can use to make the control center more like iOS 10, but it is not supported on iOS 7, it is only supported on iOS 9 devices that are jailbroken. So um, the control center is not going to change much, but it does have that card type theme on it rather than taking up the entire screen. And of course the last thing to do is to go to Google Images and download the iOS 10 background. This is very easy to do. You just go to Google Images, type in iOS 10 background on your iPhone, uh, save image, then go to settings, 
it'll ever load up. There we go. And now all you need to do is go to wallpaper and brightness, choose new wallpaper, and select that picture you saved. Now, guys, that is uh, the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please uh, leave any questions, comments, or statements down below. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, guys, I will admit you will get some lag on your device after um, following these instructions, as you can see. I mean, that's actually a pretty good uh, thing right there. It has the blur that the iOS 10 has. But yeah. So you will experience some lag on this device. I mean, it experienced lag on iOS 7 already, but just a word of warning out there. So yeah, anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.